At the age of three, I had a basketball in my hand already, running around the house, dunking it inside the laundry bin. That was my basketball until I started to play a little bit outside, and, and then from there, it just started to take off little by little. Amazing. I mean, obviously, uh, this is a team that has long time history. A team that's, what, 34, 36 years and coming to the playoffs, something like that. To be able to knock off a team that's traditionally in here is something big for Cairns in itself, not just the basketball team, but the city. Um, so we understand how big this is and what it could do for our city, what it could do for our team, our club, um, and us as individuals as well. So it'd be it'd be a big deal. Um, not to discredit the other two on the other side, but if we lose, honestly, we'll be disappointed. Um, because half of the time we feel like we don't lose because of the other team, we lose because of ourselves. 17 turnovers in the first game, and they had three. That's you credit their defense, but a lot of those turnovers as well were unforced. So I mean, you just got to come ready to play. Make sure you do all the little things, all the details, all the little, little things that people don't want to do. Yeah, I love it too hard. She left me here with this guitar. You can try stealing my heart, it's already gone. You can tell something is wrong, just leave me alone. I don't even know where to start. I'm just done. What's it like growing up as a kid in America and where you're from? Um, I mean, it was, it was good. Um, my parents worked a lot. And they try to give us everything they can. Um, coming from a, a family of six, there's a lot of kids in the household, so um, it was fun. It was very fun. Um, but it was also a lot of work, um, a lot of owning up to what you're doing and kind of deciding what you want to do at an early age um, and just chasing it. My family came from a different country to America, so they had to make they had to make a living for us. And they didn't leave Brazil because of poverty or anything. It was just to try to give us better living. It was just a, it's a grind in the States. Everybody's trying to trying to gain something or trying to advance in something. And uh, most importantly, I mean, obviously help your kids get what they want. So just grinding at that is something that I guess you got to live through to understand. All my older brothers played. And uh, at the age of three, I had a basketball in my hand already, running around the house, dunking it inside the laundry bin. Um, I mean, that was my basketball until I started to play a little bit outside. And I only started playing organized basketball at the age of 11. And I was in elementary school. We had like a school team. And then from there, it just started to take off little by little. That's a good place to be. That means you get all those older brothers to yeah to bounce. guide, yeah to guide, to inspire, uh, to look up to. Um, but yeah, that was a uh, I was fortunate with that. Sure. Well, confident. Um, we came in not knowing what to expect. I mean, we knew we had talent. We knew we had a new group of guys that we would have to make it work. Um, I noticed that over here is not. It's not so quick to cut someone, and it's not so quick to get rid of someone, so we knew we had to make it work. Also coming from a low budget team, uh, we knew we had to make it work, so regardless of what was happening, or if somebody was upset about their role, it was basically that like, you gotta deal with it. Um, and it's kind of like a sacrifice for everybody because people don't get noticed unless you're winning. Um, so we preached that from the beginning, so we knew we had to win games. So we just continue to do that. Started winning games, and um, now we're, I mean, obviously we're, we're happy and we're confident. A lot of times, a lot of imports come in, and they're just all about me, 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 me. But with him, he sees it's about us. So everyone's like, all right, well, then if he's sharing the ball, then we can do the same thing. If he's making it actually bad, we can do the same thing, you know? So this is kind of what we did around. Um, we came a long way um, from losing to winning to losing to winning streak. Um, and just understanding what we were capable of doing against Perth in the beginning. Um, obviously, they signed uh, Miles, and he didn't get to see uh, us in, throughout the year. Um, I think uh, he 
He came to understand a little bit about us. And we just were confident. Um, we know that uh, we lost a nail biter in the first one. Um, we got them pretty good in the second one. And now we come back to their place and try to win it this time. So yeah, I don't want to sound overly confident. Um, but uh, I liked our game plan in game two. Um, and I think we got better from game one. And I would like to say that we just continue to go up from there. I was asked to come out here like six, seven years ago. Tom and Bacombe wanted me to come to New Zealand and play with the Breakers with him. I had met him in Asheville, France. Um, and I didn't know nothing about it. He was the first to like mention it. And I was just like, New Zealand? I was like, nah. And then I didn't know it was part of the Australian League. And then I found out when Casper came out here that I understood a little bit about the Australian basketball. Me and Casper came out the same year. We played in the, the Reese's All-Star Game in the Final Four, senior year in college. And that's when I first met Casper. Um, we went at it then. And then once I seen him come here, it was when I started to understand about Australian basketball. Um, even when like I played with Bogues and Golden State, I didn't know about Australian basketball. Um, I knew Bogues was from Australia, but I just didn't know Australian basketball was something that was up and coming. It was different. Um, obviously, when you come to a club and you hear how last year went, the first thing you think is, well, it can't be like that. So you come in trying to see what the culture is, what is good and what's bad. And obviously that's opinionated, but you come in and you just start going through the steps day by day and just seeing how things form out. And the guys and the people that came back from last year, they had a very strong core um, and they knew what they would want to continue to do and what from last year they didn't like. And they established that early. Um, and then like from the coach, like coach had like an hour and a half conversation with me before I even signed here. Um, just, but coach spoke about everything. Coach spoke about life and how he came and I was like, all right, well this guy is a people person too. Jamie would ask me like, hey, what type of offense do you like playing? And he would just bounce it back and forth and we would talk about that. And Brad just being an ex-player, uh, just made things like easy. Um, they kind of made it real easy in the very beginning. They set the tone. And then me coming in as a new point guard, usually just trying to be the extension of the coach. He just came in and trying to absorb everything in the beginning. And then after he gave me the keys, I just ran with it. I mean, they're, they're, they're all good in themselves, um, but they also helped me make my job um, easy. I obviously uh, find people on the court and I know when to pick and choose my, my points. And when I want to go get a bucket or when I'm trying to find the open guy, they have made this year great for me. They made it exciting for me, uh, both on and off the court. They made it easy for me, the transition of coming to Australia, uh, just being in Cairns, um, being a family away from my family. Like obviously being out there with him, it was, it was surreal. Um, but then you also don't want to be super, I guess, fanboy. Like I'm a, I'm a professional athlete too, so I wanted to show my professionalism and also show him like I feel like I should be here. And I, I go back with it on myself, like damn, I should have probably been like, yo, let me get an autograph or let me get a picture. Or like I probably should have did it because you never know what tomorrow has in store. But at the same time, I, I felt like I, I deserve to be in this league. Like I, I want that respect level, um, just because that's how I feel about myself and my game. Um, but it was it was surreal. I mean, the guy is a genius. Um, the way he reads plays and recaps them right after they happen is is very inspiring and it's noticeable. It's noticeable. And that's what I picked up when I was with him just in that little time. He was basically the coach. Not to discredit the guys that was coaching, but he was basically the coach. Yeah, I want to thank everybody that's been supporting me this year. Um, everybody that's been watching from back home, um, waking up early or staying up late to watch the games and just keeping track. I'm making sure you guys show me your love. Appreciate you guys.